Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. So I just got this 19 piece e.l.f. brush set. So this includes eight face brushes, 10 eye brushes, and one brush roll travel case. So I got this brush kit for two reasons. One is I already have a few of these and I really enjoyed them. So I wanted to try out more and see if they were just as good. And the second reason is I wanted some backup brushes. So let me tell you why I want some backup brushes. So my 10 year old daughter, every now and then gets into my makeup. And one time she got into it and I did not know it. And she took the brush that I use to set my face with and I only use this brush for translucent powder and when I powder my face it's early in the morning I'm half asleep and this is the one thing that I can do without really even looking so I can swirl around and I can just kind of close my eyes kind of rest uh, nice well what I didn't know this one time was she had taken my brush and took some blush and went round and round and round and round and round and round and caked the brush with that blush. And so again, I'm just shutting my eyes, going all over my face, setting my face, hitting every single inch of my face to set it. And then when I was done, I looked in the mirror. And I was like, what, what happened? Why is every inch of my face covered in blush? And then I looked at the brush and I knew right away and I was like, Alana! So now if I have some backup brushes, if that happens again, which I've learned, always look at your brushes before you use them. So if I notice it, I can just put that brush aside and use my backup brush. So if you wanna see me use all these brushes and see if they're any good, then first make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and then Sit down, back, relax, have a laugh, and I hope you enjoy this video. So I got this brush kit from Ulta, and it was $50. All right, let's get in to looking at these brushes. So if you like powder foundation, there are two brushes in here you could use. The first is a mineral powder brush. Now I'm not a big fan of powder foundation, but we're gonna give this a whirl and I'm going to buff this all over my skin in circular motions. So I didn't really care for this brush just for the fact that it says it's densely packed, but I felt like it was too floppy and it just put down a really thin layer of the powder. So mm, didn't really care for it. So let's look at the next brush. Now this one I would say is densely packed and it's going to buff that powder right in. So this is just a powder brush. You can use it for any type of powder, blush, bronzer, contour, so again, we're going to use it here for the foundation and I'm going to buff it right in the skin, but I really enjoy it because it is densely packed and I feel it does a lot better putting down the foundation. Were there things that you got into as a child? I sure did. I remember once I got up early to watch cartoons on a Saturday morning and my mom was still sleeping and I went to the bathroom and I found her chapstick and so I took the cap off and I I twisted it all the way up so the chapstick was way out and then I was like, uh oh, and so I tried to twist it back down and it, it wouldn't go down. So I basically took my finger and tried squishing it back down and I basically just smushed it all over the place. And I think this was like a tinted, um, kind of that red chapstick. And then I had it all over my hands and then I took it all over my mom's nice towel and wiped it all over the towel. and. Of course, I thought, oh, sh she'll never notice. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one there. I don't know why kids think parents will never notice, because we sure do. So now let's look at the buffing foundation brush. Now, this one I already have, and I use it for my liquid foundation. 
and this one I absolutely love. What I love about this brush is that it is densely packed and it's designed to blur out fine lines for a photo ready look. And who doesn't love a photo ready look where your lines are all blurred out? So I think this brush does an amazing job at spreading out that product and making your skin look absolutely beautiful. So then there are two concealer brushes in here. The first is this flat bristled brush. I think this is to use more for kind of spot treating those lovely pimples or any little spots you have on your face. But I'm not going to use it for that purpose. I'm going to use it to spread the concealer that I'm putting down on my eyelids. But I'm not really liking it for that purpose. It's spreading the product perfectly, but it's not sinking it into the skin. So I just feel like I'm just spreading it all around and that's it. So I'm going to take my finger and pat it in to get it blended out into the skin. The second is a flawless concealer brush. I'm going to use this brush to spread out the concealer under my eyes. And this brush is supposed to blend the product in for a flawless finish. A flawless finish? That sounds amazing. I want all those lines to be flawless, not to be visible. So we shall see. So I think this brush did really well. It spread out the product in a nice thin layer so it did not get cakey and settle into all my lines. So now I'm gonna move on to setting my face. And again, a common theme here, I'm gonna use two brushes. So the first one that I'm gonna use is the powder blurring brush. So I'm gonna use this brush just to set the concealer. And this is a densely packed brush. And so that is why I'm using it for this area because I wanna push it into those pores and into those lines to give it that soft focus effect. And now I'm going to set the rest of my face with this flawless face brush. So this brush is a fluffy brush and it's perfect for loose and pressed powders. And I think this brush is applying the powder wonderfully and making my skin look beautiful. So another naughty thing that I remember doing was sneaking into my mom's office and getting into her stamps. And I probably took about 25 to 30 stamps and I put them all onto one envelope. And at least it wasn't today's day and age where stamps are, what, like 50 some cents? I think back then they were like 20, but still, that's pretty pricey, the amount of money that I wasted. But I remember my mom found out and I tried telling her that, that like I got the stamps from a friend or something. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's the dumbest lie ever. Like she isn't gonna know that those were her stamps. All right, you've already had a sneak peek of some of the eyeshadow, so let's take a look at all the eyeshadow brushes. So first up, let's look at the fluffy eye blender. So I'm gonna use my favorite eyeshadow palette, the Morphe Cherry Coke palette. So these bristles are longer and definitely fluffy, and it spreads the product really quickly due to the fact that they are so long and fluffy. So I like the quickness of this brush, but I don't think I like the length of the bristles because then it does make it really floppy. And I feel like it gets a little too sloppy for my liking of the product. It goes kind of way up and way over and you just have less control. Now let's move on to the crease brush. This is a smaller crease brush than what I'm used to. It's not real tapered, but it is small, so it can get into that crease and give you a nice detailed look. Now for the lid shades, I'm going to use the flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use this brush to apply the shimmers, but eh, I don't like this brush. It just did not give a good color payoff when I love this palette. I've been wearing it every day and I know what these shades should look like and this did not look as good as it normally does. So instead I'm going to use the concealer brush. This is the one that I use to spread the concealer on my eyelid 
and I enjoyed that much better than the other brush. Now to give definition in the corner of the eye, I'm gonna use a pointed eye pencil brush. Now this brush claims to be a pointed eye brush that's going to make precise eyeshadow applications as easy as using a pencil. I do not like this brush. It is too flimsy. I like using a rounded, hard packed brush that gets right in there, but this just flops all around and puts too much product in too many places. Now let's move back to the face where we're gonna apply some bronzer with this complexion brush. So this is a long fluffy brush and it's going to make powder easily blendable into your face and it's gonna give you that contoured look. Now let's move on to the blush brush and this brush I already own and I love it. I use it every day to apply my brush, to apply my blush. Tell you what, blush brush, I don't know about you, but I always interchange and screw up those words. So this brush is going to help blend the color over your cheeks seamlessly and it states that it's going to give you a natural flushed look. I don't know about a natural look because sometimes somebody here gets a little heavy handed and goes a little crazy with their blush and it don't look natural. Next is the highlight brush. So this brush is going to seamlessly sweep the highlighter on that cheek to give you illuminating glow and it also says that this brush can be used for sculpting and contouring the face. But this brush did an amazing job at applying that highlight. Look at that glow. So there are a few more brushes, but I'm going to try and speed it up. So if you're still watching, thank you for hanging in there. But the last brushes are there is a brush that you can use for your eyebrow to comb them. Um, there's an angle brush that I use to do the um bottom lash line i just used the eyeshadow that i used up there um there is a bigger flatter brush that i used to put above the brow bone and then there's this itty bitty brush that i used to pop some highlight in the inner corner so my final thoughts on this brush kit i think this would be amazing for somebody just starting out on makeup somebody that does not have any brushes I think this would be a great way to give them a good variety to play around with and to test out different brushes. So if there's any brushes here that intrigue you, you do not need to buy the whole kit. Elf sells a lot of these individually, so you could just pick up one or two instead of buying the whole entire kit and caboodle. Well, hopefully I helped you out a bit, and thank you for watching this video. And as always, have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.